in this lecture we want to add some circuit that is a conveyor belt safety circuit in this ladder so in conveyor belt you may have seen in the industries that uh, there are different form of limit switches uh, relays relay coils and uh, different form of motor starters so we will start working on on making a simple circuit for a conveyor belt safety motor actually on both sides of the conveyor belt there are limit switches and uh, some uh, proximity sensors that make or that allow the conveyor belt to align properly or uh, do not cross the limits of the limit switches the sensors and the limit switches are installed for its safety while the operator check the different forms of uh, safety lights for the limit switches and check whether the cell and the conveyor belt is moving uh, at its right position or not right now we want to pick some components from this menu and insert the components uh, first in the rescale the component uh, rescale the component and uh, i want to enter the limit switches limit switches here limit switch uh, must be normally closed because uh, uh, i want to yeah but before that we have to make or, or snap off so that we can properly insert the component you can work on these snaps like we will have to snap tracking where we will have to make it on or where we will have to make it off so while working on the on the different uh, circuits so inserting the components how we will uh, work on these uh, snap settings now i'm not interesting insert all the components like detail manufacturer i just um, interested in making the circuit so name it as limit switch limit switch one okay repeat because i want to enter again and insert another limit switch and change its name to two now now i want to insert another component like uh, for sensing purposes uh, miscellaneous which is let's suppose enter that one proximity switch normally close build safety sensor build safety sensor let's hide these uh, attribute it is uh, disturbing a circuit we are actually confused with these attributes so i have hidden all the attributes here we will have to enter the selector switches after the limit switches we will have to insert the uh, selector switches the selector switches will be in control of uh, an operator uh, and the operator will control the limit selector switches let's see enter the selector switches to position normally open insert that one repeat that one again and again repeat that limit uh, selector switch so i have inserted the three selector switches i can even use a single selector switch but uh, let's move forward and uh, i want to insert a relay coil relay coil see yeah, that one i want to insert it here relay coil safety relay safety relay okay repeat okay repeat and that's it so these are the three relay coils if you move here like uh, uh, there is a there is a limit switch on one side of the belt this one is on another side of the belt an operator has three different forms of selector switches if the selector switch signal is uh, okay if the operator try to start the conveyor belt then we he will first select the selector switches make the selector switches on position uh, they will command if they both are okay then it will command the relay coil it will operate the relay coil 
relay contact normally open. If that operate, then the normally open contact of relay will operate. Here we will start working on parent and child symbol. Like that relay coil is connected with this one. This is a child component. So we will what we will do will we will select that uh, parent or sibling. Click on that relay, the first relay, and you can see its all attributes are automatically updated. Uh, safety relay CR810. Okay, so you can see that its uh, relay coil is a parent coil while this one is a, a relay child component now insert another relay normally open coil here and select the second parent component click ok we can even insert the pin numbers here but uh, move forward again inserting the component relay coil select the parent component so you can see we have inserted three contacts that are normally open so I want to hide these uh, hide these attributes that one I don't need right now a10, A10, A10. Yeah, just leave that three. Now, as our relay coil will operate these contacts, then we want to give an indication to the operator. So, for indication, we want to insert a. Let's uh, try another option that is multiple insert from icon menu. What we will insert the pilot lights. Let's suppose insert the component fence. I will uh, insert the component in these three lines. In these three, keep all, don't ask. All three will be inserted. So in this way, we have inserted the three LEDs or three lights. So I insert horn or bells for uh, indication to the operator. If our three contacts are OK, then these lights will be switched on. Now, if all the three LEDs are switched on and uh, it works all right, mean all the three contacts are closed, then we have to insert a push button for starting the motor. Inserting the push button. OK, repeat. I want to insert another push button here and i want to make it like emergency stop that will be emergency stop push button but i have to change it to normally close and changing their attributes it is start motor apply okay so that is a start motor push button that is stop push button now I want to insert a motor coil from where I will have to pick, pick that one motor coil motor coil yeah that one motor starter coil with pins I want to insert that one here motors motor start motor start okay and now in the lower side in the lower ladder i want to insert the motor coil motor coil that one second starter coil i want to insert the motor coil here i will have to select the parent component which is that one so it is automatically updated the com uh, take component and click OK. Now I want to insert uh, an, an indication light for this motor coil. Let's insert an uh, indication. We can insert another, another one and click OK. Now what I will do, I will connect these two wires and 
connect these two wires like in that way so i want to remove this wire because i don't need this one right now so that that is a circuit which is uh, related to conveyor belt so here you can see now i want to uh, elaborate it a little bit you can see the, this is a limit switch if this limit switch is all right then and uh, then the operator will when he, when he want to start the conveyor belt he will uh, switch on the selector switch when he switch on the selector switch the limit switch is okay mean it is a normally closed operation then the relay coil will operate when this relay coil operate it will give a signal to its uh, contact mean the relay coil and the contact are actually isolated from one another but when the coil operate it switch on or uh, it switch on or uh, switch normally open or normally close mean it change its uh, position its uh, contact position if it is normally open then it will be normally closed so i have inserted a normally open switch if the coil operate then it will uh, it will close this contact and uh, when this contact close then it will switch on this led or whatever the indication light is so it will make the indication light on when all the three indication light are on then this uh, then the operator will will find that uh, will know that the limit the limits the limit or the sensors operate accurately and the uh, conveyor belt is in accurate direction and is in at uh, accurate position then what will he do he will um, push the push button on he will switch it on and the emergency stop push button is normally closed so it both these will close mean it is already closed and that will be closed and it will switch on the motor contactor coil motor contactor coil so motor contactor coil when switched on it will also uh, turn on the led or uh, indication light and with that coil it will also operate uh, that contact which is related to that motor coil mean the contact will also on as the operator will leave the push button then it uh, the push button will move to its original position normally open but that one is on mean the current will pass through this way when the operator start the push button switch on the push button uh, current will move in that way when it when this coil operate then current will move from in this way continuously from uh, 24 volt dc or uh, anything and so this is actually a simple circuit that is defined designed for a control circuit of uh, that is actually a control circuit that is uh, a control circuit of uh, conveyor belt mostly these sensors and these limit switches are operated using are controlling using uh, plc programs so we will learn how we can uh, work on plc also we can we will work on that and um, actually this is a contactor coil motor coil that is this is not a motor so it will only make on the contactor of the motor mean if it is a three phase motor then it will have three motor starters so all the th for all the three motor starters we will have to uh, enter again the, these loops so we can even um, loop that one so this is a single circuit that is uh, i think very easy and we have learned many attributes how we can change the attributes we can hide the attributes we can move the attributes so this is a short intro about this program